What's going on, YouTube? Today, I just got... Well, I mean, I got it a while ago, but... I mean, this is the first time I've really, you know, like, had time to... Do a video on it, did it, but I got a, uh, my first car. And it's a 1999 Ford Explorer. Limited edition, all-wheel drive. The all-wheel drive means that there is no selection, which really bothers me. And the limited, it... Gets you a few options like the uh, center um, center display, and you have all these different options. It gets you the wood grain. It gets you the leather, the high higher quality leather, and just some embroidered uh, limited edition. It gets you higher quality rims, and I believe it has a few engine upgrades compared to the Eddie Bauer or other uh, 5.0 liter engines that came with this model. And on the other side, it is snowing. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see the little flurries? It just started to snow right as I came out here. Um, one, all, everything works. As you can see, if I just, you know. Oh, yeah. First off, uh, standard key, you know, lock, unlock, alarm, and just key. So, I'll just put that right in there. You turn it backwards, one, for uh, accessories, like the radio will now play. Turn it forward is just standard in and out. Then, you know, one click, two click, there. And now it'll start if I, you know, turn it one more. Audio clip will be coming up in a little bit, and as long as an, and as much as an exterior clip, too. But let me just turn that on. You can see I have the, uh, you have the, uh, temperature and the temperature and, uh, direction. You have your little multi-purpose thing you can record um your own like a memo uh these can be programmed for garage doors and something i've found interesting i've never seen another car before is that if you pull this down sorry if it, you can't see much and pop this off to put this over here you have another mirror you can put here isn't that nice so even if the sun is kind of like right here it's still not bothering you because you can still put this down. And now you have this and this. It's just, it's really neat. I never saw that in a car before. And then I believe that slides also. So it slides back and forth depending on where you need it. Which is also a very nice feature. And that comes on both sides, which is really cool. Um, you also have the auto lamp. So you can auto adjust the, uh, like when you have the flip in the bottom. That's virtually what that does. You have standard steering wheel. I didn't. I don't like this compared to the lower grade models. The lower grade have kind of beams going through here, and I like that a little bit better than this. But really, no complaints. Going down here, you can adjust lumbar support and how cushy your seat is. So right now, I have it as soft as I can because I can push that down and sit there, and you can hear air come out because there's an airbag under there. But then when you flip this, you can feel it. You can hear it. Right here. We have heated seats, both sides, power seats, power and heated seats on both sides. A um, little bit disappointed, but manual uh, uh, back adjustment. And then on here, you, have, you can adjust the tilt, height, forward, backwards, and front height. You have power window locks, powered windows, auto on the driver's side. And power door locks. You also have can have custom uh, seat presets. So virtually, like, let's say my dad wanted to drive it a lot, and I wanted to drive it a lot. I could do number one, and he could do number two. So when we get in, we don't have to keep adjusting it. We just hit that the whole time. That once, it'll adjust to where we like it, and we're good to go. Right over here, you also have your headlights. You have your dash dim, dimming switch. And when you flip that all the way up, it assumes that it's nighttime, and that will come on if you need it. And we'll move on to part two in just a second. Okay, so we're back, and moving a little bit back to the steering wheel a little bit. We have some settings here. Uh, acceleration, um, what's that called? Cruise control, on off, same thing, resume. That's all cruise control. That's all radio. We have next, uh, mode, temperature. That is for that as you can see um, and that's fan so right there and then you also have the automatic and then of course you have volume if the radio is turned on I'm moving over here 
We have the windshield wipers. We also have the left turn signal, right turn signal, flasher beams, and lights. And wow, it's actually really coming down now. Not a lot, but you know. And I don't want this, so I'm just going to hit that off. Next off, uh, gear shifter, straightforward. Uh, you have an overdrive. It's a three-speed with an overdrive, virtually a four-speed. Uh, I don't get why they just don't say four-speed, but that's what they say. Everything works. You know, push that out, pull it down. Uh, I'll get some driving clips later, but, you know, it's nice and not loose because these are known to have these uh, little plastic clip that in down in the engine bay in the plastic clip, it just as the stiffness of this and the alignment between the orange dot and the numbers. And that is known to break and make this very loose and pop out of gear and make this orange just go free anywhere it wants, regardless of where you have this. But in my case, it's absolutely fine. You have, you have your uh, four-way flashers. And in this case, as an added option, we also, you also have the um, tilt wheel. As you can see, I'm not, I don't want to tilt it right now because I have it where I like it. Moving on, you have the, again, like I said before, with the limited edition, you have the wood grain. Um, you have one cigarette lighter right here, and this one has never been used once. This car was bought brand new in 99 by my uncle, given to my granddad, and then given to me. And it's, we don't smoke, so this has never been used so this car is virtually brand new because as you can see it only has 77,000 miles on it and being nearly 13, 14 years old. So I mean that's a very good plus to this car and I've known I know it's been taken care of cuz it's been in my family my whole life. Again, uh just adjustments for the fan right here and I'm moving down. You have this is the best radio radio you could get in this car this year. It has the premium sound system, so I mean, it sounds really good. It sounds like my mom's car has a Bose audio system, and it sounds just as good, if not better than that. So, you know, you have your cassette, which no one uses cassette anymore. And then you have one CD disc in there. And then if you open up the center console, and you open this little slider back, you can put six more CDs in here. So it's really a seven CD thing, a seven CD CD player. And you just load your CDs up in there, close the door. Ah, almost lost my phone. Okay, there we go, I'm back. <laughs> and then you can change through it on here. You can you also have your AM, FM, your tuning, all your different options. You can also have your bass and your treble modifications. Right now I have treble all the way up and bass about three quarters of the way up because the bass like, shakes this car. I am legitimately not kidding. And I really need to stop using legitly in my sentences. So, just as a... No copyright here. I'm going to try to figure out who the song is, but... Uh, let's try to find some music. It's like no music on. It's done. Go back. Lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free He sprinkled me in pixie dust and told me to believe Believe in him and believe in me Together we will... So as you can see, the audio sounds really nice, really happy with it. The one thing it could have is an auxiliary uh, import, but that's not a big concern because I can just get a little FM transmitter. And moving on to the AC, this is the best AC you could get, Audio, uh, the best uh, unit you could get in this model year, because it's the automatic. What's that mean? Again, it just adjusts it automatically depending on where you want it. Okay, depending on where you want it. And then you have all your different options with the AC right here. This I'm not going to cover because this I have, still have to get a fuse for, because when I got the car, it... Since the day they bought it, it didn't have a fuse. Well, since the day my uh, granddad got it. So, my uncle, I think he took the fuse out. I don't know why he did that. But I'll have to get a new fuse for that. So, I'm not going to cover that. I'll cover it a little bit. 
you have your English, your metric, your fuel, you know, range, status, economy. You can reset your whole system, system check, and oil change reset because it will tell you when you need the oil change. Moving down a little bit, it's a little bit dirty because I haven't cleaned it out yet. But you have your cup holders, a little spare holder. And moving back here, you can actually input a tissue box in here for tissues. Now moving back in here a little bit, you got your CD, got your coin holder, no pennies because, you know, pennies are absolutely freaking worthless. Owner's manual, and that's really all about in here I have now. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's not, like, ugh, it's not, like, the best softness, but it's pretty soft. You know what I mean? Um... And that's really about it for the front of the car. Now let's move to the back seat. The back seat is fairly standard considering everything that's going on. You know, you have your um have your selections on where you want the air to come out. You can adjust the volume and seek, and then you can adjust between speakers or headphones. You have two headphones jack and fan speed, and then you can adjust these. Other than that, Compared to most cars, these uh, spec seat pockets actually go all the way to side, all the way to side, from here, all the way down, which is very lucky. Um, standard options, window up and down, same side, and fairly just all standard, and you also have two little halogen light bulbs up at the top. Moving on to the back of the car, not much in the back. Uh, factory floor liner, so, you know, nothing breaks. I mean, if anything, like wet stuff doesn't get everywhere, but, um... That's really about it for the trunk. Not coming to the outside of the car, as you can see, limited V8. It has the custom running boards that matched it. The limited also made it come with uh, extra fender flares and the limited edition, limited edition tires. Coming around the front, crystal clear headlights, both front and back. I mean, again, same thing, rims, running boards. It has the uh, roof rack package. Um, the door handles are nice, they're smooth very nice you don't have to really rip at them to open them uh just standard gas cap not one of the new pop in pop it out explorer it has the um the tow hook but that's only rated to a thousand pounds so that's like virtually worthless other than that there's almost no rust anywhere there actually is no rust anywhere actually is there you know what there is there is a little scuff right there of rust but and i have no clue what that was from but yes, it has custom pinstriping all the way down the side, down to the front. And again, it has the light up running boards. As you can see, when you open the door, the light comes on. Very nice feature. It has also has heated um, mirrors, which is a nice heated motored mirror. So they come in and out automatically and turn automatically. Um, it also has the automatic raise and lower uh, antenna. So when you're going through a car wash or something, um, the antenna doesn't snap off, you just turn the radio off, it'll retract down. And next up will be the, um, sound test. So I'm sorry that I couldn't get uh, any really big revs out of it. The um, I didn't want to rev it hard because it hasn't been run in a while. So I just gave it a few little, a little tap because it's been sitting for about a year. And it's the first time it's been up in the cold for a long time. So thank you for watching and see you later.